All right, it's the next day at the 11,000 square foot house that we started. Yesterday we showed you setting the Flexicore, the concrete slabs. Already in 24 hours, Alex's crew started on the job. He's not here right now, but in 24 hours, I'm gonna take you through and show you how fast this framing goes up. So here on the job site, we have all the materials just for the, uh, the first floor has been delivered and the lower level. And then we have the pile of steel that we always order ahead of time. So when these guys keep moving, we're not waiting on product. What we're looking at here is those are the garage doors. This is going to be a four car garage. Remember it's 11,000 square foot house. They're setting up these, these big beams you see across there. They're a wood called a, an LVL. It's wooden beam, you take the product, rip it down, put it back together, and it's a lot stronger. So it's a laminated wood beam. That takes the place of steel. I'll take you through and kind of show you how far they got because the lower level is already done. So as we come down to the lower level, this is what we call a walkout basement. So I don't like to use the word basements because we make them feel like another level of the house. So this is the lower level. The main floor is gonna be up above here. That's the ranch part of the house, all one level. Technically, it's gonna look like a ranch. That's what the homeowner wants, but we're gonna sneak in a second master bedroom on the second floor over the kitchen area. So technically, it's really not a ranch, but it's gonna look like one. And then we're putting another guest suite. So three masters, one on the main floor, one in the lower level, and then there'll be one tucked upstairs on the second floor. But let me take you in here to show you what 5,000 square foot of lower level looks like. There's a lot of concrete and a lot of basement. So it, uh, it just continues on and a majority of it is all finished. We're gonna be putting in a, another secondary kitchen over here. That's where the Flexicore concrete sits on. That is the outside patio. We're also doing something that I've used to do in these houses way back when is put a set of steps from the garage coming down to the storage room. And that's where we're at right here. Behind all this lumber, Hold on, it's over here. Behind all this, there's this big hole. We're gonna be building steps. This will lead you right up to the garage. So it's great for homeowners when they have stuff. If they don't have a warehouse, they need to have a set of stairs in their basement coming down to a big storage room. So you'll notice we have these little round circles in here periodically. These are load bearing points that because the steel has not been set and the post, we leave these open. We'll dig this out. There's a footing underneath there. We'll set the steel and the post and then we come back and pour concrete around it. This allows us to continue building the house with the finished lower level, but we can't put steel on top of the concrete floor. It has to go down to the footing and then get poured around it. That's the right way to do it. So you can see Alex's guys are really moving fast. I love this. I expect them with the nice weather to keep on this fast pace, but I have another job to check on over here on my uh, job sites. It's that two and a half million dollar remodel where we're doing that custom wood ceiling in the master bedroom. I wanna show you how that turned out. Okay, we're coming up on my, uh, the big two and a half million dollar addition that we've been working on for almost a year. We're getting countertops finishing up here today. I want to take you inside and show you that master bedroom ceiling that Tom worked on and just check up on the painters and see how we're going. I need to get this thing moved into the finish stages. So the homeowners, they want to move in here in about two months. So the pressure's on again. All right, guys, a lot's happened here in the uh, last month or so. We've got the painters have been in here working nonstop. This house member had over $300,000 in cabinets and we have a lot of the drawers that they painted are all in this front office out of the way being protected. We don't want anybody messing with those, picking them up and scratching them. And as we make our way in, you'll see these are the eight foot tall doors. They're all being supported and protected. Those are completed and done. We're trying to keep those from any more additional damage. And as we make our way into the kitchen, you can see the kitchen islands started and has been painted, but we still have to get the back counters uh, going. But the countertops are on. We come in and we put the uh, cardboard on top to protect it because you'll see all the guys use this for a workstation. And here it is, is thousands of dollars of quartz countertops and it's hard not to use this thing as a workstation. So we 
Instead of beat them, we just join them. We make it so it's protected. Here's some additional cabinets that we have laid out that the guys are sanding and painting. It takes several coats. Let me take you into the, uh, the art room that is pretty cool. Not every house has an art room, but this one does. Some of those drawers I showed you on the front of the house, they go into this space. So this here is its own arts and craft room. This was the hot button for the wife. The hot button for the husband is on the uh, total, the new addition. It's a music theater room and it's a world-class music theater room. Something I've never done before. And I'll show you when that's all done. It's unbelievable. So coming back into the main kitchen area, I wanna show you the focal point of this house. This fireplace was something that's been new for me as a lot of other people. They see pictures in, in magazines and this one happened to be backlit. It's gonna be quartz or granite of some sort, but it's translucent. These rods are going all the way up into the attic where we installed a huge massive beam that's been engineered. And this metal tray is going to sit and hold this slab of granite that weighs over 2,000 pounds. So it's literally hanging from the ceiling and it gets supported on here. And this is the fireplace that's got, it's exposed on three sides. We still got a ways to go on this thing. This is probably the, one of the most expensive fireplaces that we've ever put into a house. When we're all done, this whole thing is gonna be north of $65,000 for the granite, fireplace, everything installed. I'm super excited to show this to you when it's all done, but I want to show you the ceiling that Tom had a hissy fit about, and he's such a perfectionist, you'll see it turned out fantastic. Tom and I go around like an old married couple. He uh, is such a perfectionist, I knew he was trying to get out of this because it was a difficult thing to do, but I knew Tom was up for the challenge, and I want to show you how beautiful this turned out. It's not been stained yet, but what you don't see is there's an indirect light tray really barely hidden that will illuminate the ceiling and all that is all done out of maple and it's going to be gorgeous that skylight has a motorized blind on it to hit a button it'll close up so that the master bedroom will be room darkening so that looks like not that big of a deal but it's really impressive with all the different angles that tom had to work with to make this thing look right so hats off to tom you did a great job so things are progressing nicely in there now I need to go over and check up on Eugenio. He's doing siding on that pool house. See how he's doing. So now I'm heading to uh, check up on Eugenio. He's siding the pool house. And I have a fun thing to do for Eugenio today on this Friday afternoon. I'm gonna come up with a little contest and I have two prizes that he can choose from. And uh, I'll share that with you once we get a little closer to see if I can make or break Eugenio's day. Hopefully we'll, we'll make it a good one for him. All right, let's go see what Eugenio is doing. Eugenio! Hola! Hola, what you, you getting this figured out? Yeah, fine. Mark's helping you? Yeah. How, how you been doing? You got any more questions on the other side? or You just got the one side done? Yeah, one side, yeah. Wait, wait, where's the Arca structure shirt? This isn't I don't one. Have, I don't have more. You, you know, you're out of, they're dirty? Three. You gotta wash them. No, no, no. no, no and where's, where's your no. hat? Where's his Arca structure hat? <laughs> oh, it's my bad. Oh, this is a new guy you got yeah, here. That's my hey, bad. I'm Brad. I'm Rene. Nice to meet you. What's your first name? Uh, Rene. Rene? Yeah. Hey, Rene. Well, good. He's a big guy. Strong. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look. You got a lot done today. You'll be uh, done. Next week. This, all this is stone. Next week. Well, this is Friday. We're gonna do some contest. We'll come up with it. And if you win, I have two prizes. One's a good one, and one's not so good. You up for the challenge? Ready. You ready? Okay, yeah. all right, all right. Let's go through this first, and then okay. we'll, get, we'll, we'll get the game geared up. Have you got back here yet? Oh, wow. Look at this. He's got the whole back all done. Nice job. So, are we going to run a small trim board across the top? Are we like a little... If, if you want it, yes. But I if do. not, this is a little tight. My siding is it, tight. Is it working? It. If it fits tight, then, yeah. then we don't need it's it. Working. But if it's need. short, okay. All right, that looks good. So you got the trim boards here. So Trim board. Hey, look at the pool. I'm you bring, swim, you bring your swimsuit? I'm swim. Yeah. Oh. You don't wear a Speedo, do you? <laughs> no, no, no Speedo. No. Hey, I wanted to ask you about your brother, the one that's better looking to you. Why can't we get him back here? We need him here. He like in New York, he had a good boss in New York too. Oh, he's he got a good, good. He had a job. Am, I, am I a good boss here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A good one. well, good answer. I'm, I don't want to move, I don't want to move anywhere else <laughs> for work, no. I will stay here. Okay, well, I don't want you moving either, Eugene. No, no. All right, let's get our little contest on. You ready? You feel lucky today? Yes. Okay, all right, let's go this way. Brad's crazy, huh? Yeah. 
crazy. Oh, do you want to play? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's think about this. We want to do it. Uh, you want to go that way? So we'll see how many times it takes Eugenio for you to nail one in. And then how many times it takes me to nail one in. Perfect. Okay. We'll get we'll get it started first. Get it get it started and then we'll count. Get it? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah. Seven, and you had one little miss. That's pretty good. Right now. Okay, I have to get it started here. Yes. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Ah! Four and a half, five and a half. Six, six. Eleven. Eleven. I think that was that was uh, that was eight. <laughs> All right, you're the winner. I knew he's gonna beat me. Okay, okay. Now you have two prizes. You gotta pick one. This one seems heavy. Heavy could be worth money. Light, nah, not so much. You wanna try? Uh, okay. You I'm try. Gonna, okay, I'm try that one there. Try that. Oh, you're gonna shake them. I don't know. I'm keeping. I'm staying with this. Okay, start with that one. See what you got. Woohoo! A construction yes, hat. Construction oh. hat. <laughs> Look at that. Wait a minute. That's oh, not. The, that's that's kind of that's kind of mean, Eugenio. <laughs> Hold on. I really wanted you to have this one. <laughs> that. <laughs> for my daughter. No, that's for my grandson. <laughs> This one's really yours. I want oh. you to have this one. Oh, so open that enough. one up. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! What do you think? It's getting good. It's in a nice little box. <laughs> what do you think, Eugenio? Thank you, senor. You like that? Thank Look you. at that. Now you can't be late for work no more. I got you a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I was limp. Yeah. I was limp. Yeah. It's got an alarm on it. I can call you and get you out of bed. <laughs> Except to Sunday. No, no, I won't call on Sundays. It doesn't. It's disconnected. You Thank like? You. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's all really right. nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank senor. you for all your work, Eugenio. Oh, no, thank you. You're a good guy. You too. All right. So I appreciate it. So I'm going to take my hard hat back, give it to my grandson, and uh, now you got a little a watch to take time. Thank you. You yeah. bet. Yeah, you got to put right. it on, Eugenio. Yeah, put it on. See how see if it fits. <laughs> I think it, it can even go in the water. Woohoo! So I'm going to throw you, put you in the pool. I I'm think we should test it. You hop in the pool yeah, and I'm see gonna... if it's waterproof. That is waterproof. Eugenio says he can swim, but when he gets in the pool, when you go to the bottom, that's when you got to start walking. He walks out. He'd... Oh, oh, here comes Wayne. Well, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What did Eugenio win? He, he beat winning. me at the nail contest and walked away with, he could either have the hard hat or and then he picked the watch. Let me see. What kind of watch is that? Look at that. You want to buy? I got $10. He's going to pay no. $10. You got to do this when it I'm not it here. You don't have a price. Yeah. More din more dinero than that. Yeah. There's no price. $12. That's a no. I, I, I'm test. Which one is heavy? Well, but, yeah, heavy. Hey. I'm, but, but, the, but the thing is that see watch. These, see if these fit. You're going to scratch that off. Look at the. Oh, oh, oh. oh <laughs> you're poking it out. You're right. It's too big already. Sorry. Oh, oh, no. Don't your watch. I, I mean, I, I got $10. No, you're insulting Wayne, me. That Wayne, thing costs no. more than $10. Don't, 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 I know don't it, but <laughs> No. No? Not for sale? Do you wear watches at all? It's my <laughs> alarm of time for wake up in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you need that, don't you? He said he can't be late for work now. Oh. He's Somet got, he's got a Sometimes watch. coming 7, 7.30, late, but now it's coming 6.30. That's a nice watch, you know. <laughs> 6.30. That's a nice watch. You a little hammer, too, with it, huh? Yeah, a little hammer time. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't think this one fit on his head. His head's no. too big. That's all right. Let me hold this. Let me see if this fits. Let me hold that side. Let me see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> take a picture. Hell oh, yeah. Hey, hey, take, take a, a picture. More, more pictures. Yeah, take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many likes did you know? Uh, a thousand, a thousand. A thousand likes. <laughs> thousand. Yeah. That's our goal. A thousand likes. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> Can yeah. you feel it? I, yeah, it's her. <laughs> 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 it's Friday. We're gonna call it a day. Do you have any cervezas in the van? I don't have nothing. Nothing. The boss. It's Friday. Yeah, Friday. I'm supposed it's to bring it. Oh, no, I'm supposed to have their cervezas. <laughs> I gotta go get cervezas. So thanks for watching. I'm Brad the Builder. <laughs>